Asbel! Hubert! Bailey! You're alive! We've been fighting off the monsters with the help of Miss Foyer. Asbel, is there a place in your manor where we can plan our next move? Of course. Let's use the study. Did King Richard intentionally merge with Lambda? It sure looked that way. Who would allow something so horrible to happen to themselves? Lambda must be manipulating Richard. That has to be it. <sighs> That's why it's necessary for me to eradicate Lambda. We'll do it without your mutual destruction. But Asbel, we'll never be able to save Richard. All right. That's enough, you two. Asbel, I need to speak with Sophie for a moment. Do you mind getting started without us? No, that's fine. Thanks. We'll be right back. Come on, Sophie. What is it? Um, well, I just wanted to say that I'm happy. You're happy? I'm happy you didn't die. If you had sacrificed yourself, we wouldn't be able to talk like this. Just thinking about it makes me sad. Is dying sad? Well, yeah. I mean, when someone dies, they're gone. You can't talk to them or tell them stupid jokes or... Or do anything. I mean, what if we all died and you never saw us again? Think about it. I don't want to think about it. It makes my chest heavy. It makes me hurt. That sadness. See? You do know what it means. If you all died, I would be sad. Well, that's how we feel every time you try to sacrifice yourself. Even Asbel? Oh, especially Asbel. I think he's more concerned than any of us. That's why he was so angry at you. Being sad made him angry? Well, remember when you vanished seven years ago? He acted the same way then. I tried to talk to him, but it only made things worse. And so I just waited around and cried a lot. And blamed Asbel, I suppose. But now I realize he was hurting just like me, and getting mad was all he could do. Men are... bad at feelings. Sometimes getting angry is all they really know. So he was angry because he was sad? That's strange. Honestly, you're not much good at expressing feelings either. I'm not? Hmm. Geez, how long are they gonna stay out there? I'll go see what's up.
I'm bad at feelings. No. You're not bad at feelings. You just have a hard time telling people what you really think. You know, you've probably spent too much time with Asbel. He's always been the same way. It'll be all right. You just have to talk to him. That way, you can find out why he feels the way he does. Do you know what I mean? Hey there, are you guys still talking? Asbel, I, um... Hey, uh, Sophie needs to talk to you right now, if you don't mind. Oh, she does? Go on. Okay, I'll see you guys inside whenever you're done. Hey there. So tell me, what's going on? Sharia. She said that I had to talk to you. She did? <sighs> Sharia, I swear. Asbel? Do you think that we... are the same? Is that what Sharia said? Yeah, I guess we're kind of the same. We both make up our minds and refuse to listen to anyone. You think you're the only one who can destroy Lambda, and I'm determined to pull it off anyway. And without you having to die. Hold on, I'm not finished yet. You have so much life left, Sophie. You have so many things to see and learn. And that's why you can't run around trying to sacrifice yourself all the time. You know? I mean, that makes sense, right? I'm sure there are all kinds of things you'd like to see and do. There are some things that I would like to see. I want to see the Sulfarius become a Blossom Gale. Oh, that's right. I remember. We talked about that when you planted them. You see? There's still so much in this world that you need to experience for yourself. So that's why you can't die yet. All of these things are waiting for you. We're just getting started. Your life... and ours. Thank goodness. I thought you were angry at me. Oh, um, well, I, um... Sharia said that you get angry when you're sad. Oh, well, yeah, I guess that I do. I'm glad that you weren't really angry. I want you to always be happy. Now, and forever. I guess I could use a lecture, too. Okay, come on. We should get back, before they send out a search party for us. So, let's go, all right? Okay. Okay, we're all here. Let's start by establishing what we know. So, what's going on with Lambda now? We should assume that Lambda is already at the Lestalia. The path is open, and his powers have grown. He has no reason to wait. Then this is our last chance to stop him. If he manages to fuse with the core... Well, I think we know where we stand. Next question. Do we possess the strength to defeat Lambda? Without sacrificing Sophie, of course. This whole time I thought we were fighting Richard. So it's possible we didn't go all out when we fought him before, you know? But I think I have an idea about that. 
Remember how Lambda split off from Richard and hopped into Emerald? Well, maybe we can make him do it again. And then rescue Richard while they're separated. I think it might be possible. Regardless, we must prepare ourselves for the worst case scenario. Hmm. No, I won't let it come to that. I won't. Everyone, there's something we must do before we leave. Going to the Lost Talia will be like entering Lambda himself. If we aren't prepared, there's a chance his mind will overwhelm us. So we all need to go to the meadow. Together. The meadow? You mean the place we first met? If Sophie thinks it will help, then we should go. Okay, let's take this meeting to the meadow.